Did he just drop? Marquez Pixel Player 3 just dropped today and unfortunately it's only available to developers only so if you have a developer beta profile you can easily download it by going into your system preferences and if you have a public beta tester <sighs> just bad news today for you. Unfortunately, macOS Pixel Public Beta isn't available today, but don't worry, Apple said that it's supposed to be released this month, so expect it as soon as tomorrow or as late as next week. Keep refreshing your feed and you might be able to see the Public Beta as soon as it comes out. And if it does come out, I'll actually make a video for you so that you can know that it's out, all right? So let me show you it just in case what I have here before I update. If I go to my system preferences and then go to software update, you can see that, you know, it's checking for update. It just takes a moment to find the latest update that is available. And as you can see here, an update is available for your Mac and it's Mac OS Big Sur Beta 3 version 11. They got the 11 this time around. Previously, when I was on Beta 2, it actually said Mac OS Big Sur Beta 2 version 10.16. That was a bug and apparently just needed to be updated from Apple side and this time around it's good that they got it right and so if I click here where it says more info, let's just click there. You can see that Mac OS Big Sur Beta 3 for me on my MacBook just in case if you are curious what type of MacBook this is. If we go to the about section there, you can see that this is a MacBook Pro 15 inch 2016. And yeah, this is the size for me on my MacBook. It comes in at around 4.96 gig. Now that is very sized considering some of the issues that uh, we were facing when it came to Beta 2. I actually had to make a video about it. And if you wanna see the video, I'll leave it somewhere around the top of this video and you can click on it and see some of the issues that were reported for beta 2 and so i expect this beta 3 to come with improved stability and also let me just see the condition of this macbook before i update i like to show the before and after when it comes to system files and settings because sometimes you find when updating or when you have updated the new beta takes up more space than in initially intended to and that results in serious issues. Sometimes your device can be stuck in a boot loop if the beta size increases beyond the anticipated value, right? So at the moment before updating, these are the stats of my MacBook. As you can see, the version is version 11 and the build number that I have with beta 2 before the update is 20A4300B. This update has a B at the end and it's currently on beta 2 and I thought you know this is the second beta of a new software that just came out and with all the changes and considering all the instabilities and issues I was facing on Catalina I thought that you know this B was rushed you know B is quite stable but you know, for a second beta on Big Sur, I think they rushed, but as you can see on beta two, I have a B at the end and I expect that to change for the beta. So I'm curious to see what software version I'll have after updating to macOS Big Sur beta three. And then if we look at some other information that I have, I like to check storage because sometimes it can take more than it's supposed to. So before updating to macOS Big Sur, this is the storage that I have available on beta two. I I have 1.26 terabyte and if we go to manage storage it just takes a while to download just give it a few minutes and then after it's done calculating all the different compartments that make up the storage or that are taking up space in the hard drive it will show you how much the system storage is taking so it's just finished calculating and as you can see here for me system comes in at 13.63 gigs so that is relatively normal for mac os and so the update size for mac os pixel beta 3 shouldn't be added on top of this it should just override some files that we have with beta 2 and the system size should remain more or less the same and if we close this and see how much uh 
storage is taken up by here it should more or less be the same sometimes it would portray different figures and as you can see here system is still taking the same so that is good now currently on beta 2 this is how some of the apps look so take note of like the music app and some other icons because i know there's some apps that were changed on beta 3 so yeah just take note of these apps because there were some changes now for me personally the most serious bug that i've been facing when it comes to mac os pixel beta 2 has to do with safari my safari is crashing all the time you know the tracking and tracing new feature that came to safari is basically blocking all my sites and also when i change the background wallpaper it just crashes and sometimes it's unresponsive and i'm unable to open tabs so for me safari has been one of the major issues and something else that most people are hating about beta 2 if we go to this uh, settings here and then go to the battery section you can see that you know this battery icon that we have here so many people disliked it in the beta forums people are complaining so i'm curious to see if this changes when we update to mac os pixel beta 3. That is just a simple overview of what we have on this MacBook on macOS Pixel Beta 2 before we update to Beta 3. So I'm now about to update to macOS Pixel Beta 3 and there's an important issue that is currently known. It's also listed on the Apple website on the developer forum and discussion tab. If you are coming to macOS Big Cell from any other version of macOS that is not Big Cell, let's say for example Catalina or any other version that is not macOS Big Cell Beta 1 or Beta 2, there is a non issue and it's currently a serious bug. And so if you update coming from another version of macOS, this update is known to be taking longer than usual and that time is actually substantial and you can tell that this is taking long, you know. So if your update is interrupted, Apple actually said that that could result in data losses. So just beware of that and I advise you connect your Mac to a power source just to avoid this from happening if you're coming from any other version and also just don't use it during the update process so as not to disturb the process and avoid data losses so now let's update to macOS Pixel and see what are the major changes and features that came with this macOS Pixel okay so our device has now been updated to macOS Pixel developer beta 3 and first things first the first thing you notice is this banner that you see here so software update pops up after updating and then I have to mention that if you have the chime settings set on so in your settings when you go to where it says sound which is right here you notice that you know you have this option to basically play sound on startup and basically before for me it wasn't working even though I had it on so that is now working and during the restart process you hear the charm like two or three times so that's something new that uh, I noticed so far without looking at much and let's just see what the software build number and version comes in so if we were to let's just close this preference if we were to go into about this Mac and then we can see that the software version that we have here is 11 so that is good it continued to be version 11 and the build number that came with this update as you can see here is 20A5323i now this i that you see here is actually a better representation of the stability of this beta this beta came with uh, so many features so when macOS pixel came it came with so many features and also it had to fix most of the issues that people were experiencing on macOS Catalina right so with all the new features that were issued and stability fixes we expected to have some issues and I seems to be like a more correct representation of this update now let's look at storage if we look at the storage that we have available here we can see that I have 1.23 terabytes now that's normal i did add a few files from my recording so i guess that's 
why it dropped a little bit and if we go to the manage section here it just takes a little while to load as you know and then as you can see once it has loaded the different uh, compartments or sections that make up storage it will tell you how much you know your system is and for me system here isn't yet available by the way because it's still calculating when system doesn't show up like this you can just close up as you can see it's finished calculating here right but no system so you can just close this up and then go to manage storage again and you'll notice that system appears again so as you can see for me system has sort of increased by a large portion before it was around 13 or 14 gig and here it's 16 gig now this update for me came in at around 4.5 gigs so there's a bug or something that came with this update that is not correct i'll give it about two or three days just to see how this goes and usually after like two or three days you'll be able to tell if this system files keeps on expanding or if it stays the same or sometimes it can even shrink in size so it's good that we checked our system before updating and as you can see it increased by almost three gigs which is not good right so that's something that we noticed here now also if we were to go to systems here you can see that they match up sometimes they are misaligned so that is good and now next let's look at the applications that changed right so I noticed the music app you see how this is all red it has like a more iOS look to it and iOS 14 also has this change although it's in its beta stages it also experienced this music app change it's now red and also the music app has more features to it it's uh, been improved with stability i don't use the apple music app that much but if you do use the apple music app the play button is now red let me see if i can find um start something that i can play so yeah the play button as you can see it's a more rich red color and the shuffle button so as you can see here action buttons have been changed to depict a more rich and solid color which stands out from the rest as you can see here. so that's something good if you do use the music app for me personally i use spotify and this is my spotify apple won't like me for that but yeah that's me and then the next thing that i would like to mention this is actually trending on twitter by the way if we go to system preferences right let's just close this music app and then go to the battery section you can see already without going far that this icon has changed so if we click the battery icon you can see that you know we have a redesigned icon here and this is the new battery icon that we have it's a rebranded one and it seems way way better it seems like you know the days of the iphone 3gs or iphone 4 when we had the old ios days where it was like just a solid bar i like this you know it looks simple and it's better than what we had on mac os pixel beta 1 or beta 2 so good job on this one apple actually so many people are happy for this on twitter and i'm actually excited a little bit so that's one of the big change that uh, came with this update and some people are actually saying i'll update to mac os pixel because of this change and as you can see here here this has remained more or less the same the icons here so it's only in the settings menu that you'll be able to see these changes the next thing that changed here is the notification icon now i'm not able to pull up notifications here because this is my secondary display i use it because of the 16 by 9 ratio which my macbook does not have so if you use notifications on the mac quite often you notice that icons have changed and no longer have a low resolution the next thing that i noticed that changed if we were to go into settings you see this portion here where you have your users or your icloud id and you click edit you can see that the text is now aligned and no portion of any text is being cut off the previous version actually cut off text let me see if i took a screenshot this is the screenshot that i took before updating and if you see this current that we have here and then you compare it to the current that we have here right you can see that on beta 2 this was actually being cut and that's because it was the selected portion if i was to select defaults that would also cut a portion of the d 
or if I was to select camera, you would find that the C wouldn't be so visible. So this is something that has been improved with this update and it's a good change that, you know, Apple managed to notice. So that's good. If you have users, you can be able to add them and see what you are changing correctly. Now, if you do use Spotlight Search, that has been improved. The UI uh, sometimes would crash and not show uh, some equipment. You can trigger Spotlight Search by clicking this search icon here that you see, or you can just press uh, Command and Spacebar and yeah it will basically pop up and this is your spotlight search and you won't be able to see much because it's very simple but if you search for something you will notice that you know it now shows you almost everything and before it would sort of hide some files so that has been improved and also updated with this Mac OS Pixel developer beta 3. Now the next change that came to this update is this date and time here it's not much but as you can see you can read the whole date and time before there were issues whereby sometimes it would only display the time and other times it would just display like a portion of the date but as you can see here we have an abbreviated wednesday and july 22nd and you can easily be able to tell the date and time next thing that changed here is this sound icon here now if you do have airpods or airpods pro sometimes you know they would show up as like two set of different pairs although you have one set of airpods but if that was an issue with you on the previous mac os pixel beta 1 or beta 2 that has been addressed here now there's quite a number of issues and also bugs that were addressed and overly let me see if i can pull them up so there's quite a number of known issues that were addressed and this is basically the apple developer document that apple has published uh, with mac os pixel beta 3 and usually they don't publish a different one from beta 2 or beta 3 they just update what was there previously so we have quite a number of known issues there are actually so many however we also have many issues that were resolved right and i just took a few that i think are important and just to summarize most of it when it comes to bugs and fixes we have an overall improvement in stability and in network connection if you're experiencing facetime calls sometimes when you would minimize your facetime and come back it would basically disable your video and you wouldn't be able to turn it on but that has been fixed with this update and also we have overall device stability improvements across most of the applications and if you also use third-party applications you are now able to install them and use them as it was before and overall device security has been improved if you're having issues with the touch id that has been fixed and auto lock has also been implemented correctly if you're having issues unlocking your device or setting up auto lock function using a timer that has also been fixed and continuity is also available now on the mac and across ios 14 and ipad os 14 so if you're having issues let's Let's say for example you are taking some notes on the macbook and then you have to go somewhere and have to take those notes on the ipad or iphone you can easily continue you doing your task on any device that has the same icloud that is signed in that is something that uh, came with this update and also for some people that were actually not able to change this desktop um, wallpaper that you see here for me on beta 2 i could change it i actually included it in my previous video so you can now easily just change this wallpaper and as you can see for me here i can be able to change my wallpaper very easy and very simple so there's quite a number of issues you know and unknown bugs that were fixed with this update i will leave a link to this in the description of this video just in case if you want to read them one by one and so basically that's about it for me when it comes to mac os pixel this is just a small update video i would do a follow-up video just to see how battery performance is on this macbook and also how my device performs overly and also what are the major issues and bugs that i experience on mac os pixel beta three if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video